So today we're gonna customize my old iPods. So in this video, I'm gonna customize a bunch of old iPods. I'm gonna walk you through the whole day of me customizing them and painting them. So I hope you will enjoy the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe, of course, if you're new here and a thumbs up is also much, much appreciated. So yeah, enjoy. All right, let's start with the small one. So the small iPod I have over here, it's actually an iPod Shuffle and it's the second generation. This is it, that's it. There are a total four generations. I personally thought there was a fifth one, also with a clip, but it had a touch screen. But I've just done some research and I realized that it actually was an iPod Nano, one of the later generations. All right, enough talking, let's customize this. This looks absolutely awful. Let's use some spray paint so I can start with a proper background. This is like a million times better. For this first design, I went for an eye. Partially because I wanted to see if I could blend colors with Posca markers and I have to say that I liked how this turned out. Oh yeah, the first iPod is done. Next on the list will be this one. The new iPod now. So I have actually two iPods from the series the second generation which we're gonna customize in just a second and then i also have the fourth generation but in total for the ipod nano there were seven generations i only managed to have two but i'm really happy i had those two let's customize the first one so here i'm going for a glitch design and it's gonna be applied to a skull If you want to know how you can make your own glitch drawings, don't forget to watch my tutorial. I'm gonna link that video in the right upper corner. Oh yeah, I'm pretty happy with the glitched skull design. So the weather outside is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna continue the project outside. So far I've done two of the iPods. Next one is gonna be this pink one. For the design of this pink iPod, I'm simply gonna doodle with my signature doodles. Bruh. Nothing to worry about, we can continue. Yet. So far I've done these three, next on the list is this one, but I have to be honest, I want to leave this one in its original stage, so this means we're going straight to the iPod Touch. So I believe my iPod Touch is the 6th generation of its series, I'm not sure though because all the iPod Touches are like a lot of the same, So and I, and I can't really distinguish them, but anyway, let's customize my iPod Touch. Sketch is done, colors are ready. We can begin. So I really wanted to push myself for this last one, so I went with realism. And that's absolutely not easy with Posca markers. I think it's coming along pretty good. I'm really happy so far. Well, there you go. 
those were the custom iPods. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed the designs. Let me know in the comment section down below what was your favorite design and I also want to say a special thank you to the people who commented on my latest community post and gave me some suggestions on what I should paint on the iPod so thank you for that. Also if you liked the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up I really appreciate the support so thanks for watching and then we see each other in a couple of days in a new video. Take care.